So what are HTML headings? HTML headings help us to describe the content that's on our website and how it relates to the purpose of our website. We find this oftentimes in books. Books have a title, but they also have chapter titles and they have subheadings, all of which help to describe the content of the book and how it relates to the title. In the same way, web pages have much content throughout. Having headings helps us to understand what that content is and how it relates to the purpose of the website. In HTML, we have six HTML headings. In this video, we're going to show you how to implement each one of them. So take a look below and we'll show you how to code HTML headings. So here we have our H tags, our header tags, and we have the H1 all the way through the H6. These are all the possible header tags that HTML offers. Let's run our code and see what they look like. As you can see, the H1 tag is the largest and the H6 is the smallest. So H1, as the numbers get larger, H2, 3, 4, the text gets smaller. But now how can we use these header tags in order to shape an article or a web page? Well, let's take a look at a real world example. Okay, so here we have a set of paragraphs that make up an article. As we learned in our last video, you can use the P tag in order to create a paragraph. Let's run this code and see what it tells us. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six P tags or paragraphs, each telling us something about this article. But if you notice, at a glance, we really can't tell what this article is about. We would literally have to read each line to understand the meaning of the article. By using header tags, we can change this. Let's go back to our code and start to add some header tags. I'm going to paste over this same article, but with the header tags. As you can see here, we have the same article, but now with the H1 tag, the H2, and if we look all the way to the bottom, we have H6 tag. So now let's run this and see how it changes this article here. Wow, what a difference, right? Now we don't have to read the whole article to know what this page is about, what the article is about. Our H1 tag helps us to see that this article is what we get from the earth. That's what it's about. Each of the following subheadings or the following header tags help to establish that meaning or that content. Farming and the economy, reap the benefits, and as you can see, the text is getting smaller and smaller. We've done this so you can see the size of the text. And as you can see, farming and the economy, that's an H2 tag. Reap the benefits, vegetables, this is a H3 tag. Bad dirt versus good dirt, H4 tag. This is how we use header tags to take a set of paragraphs or an article and help the user in order to identify what that article is about. Now, one thing to mention is that we can also help our search engines to know what our page is about. We want people to find our web pages. So when they go and type in maybe farming or vegetables, well, we want this article to come up. Google uses header tags in order to index its pages. So that's the power of using header tags. Not only does it help the user, but it also helps us to be found by the search engines. So feel free to use header tags. You can use as many as you want, as few as you want. You know the benefits. And if you want to practice using header tags, visit burntolearn.com forward slash HTML where you can not only watch this same video, but you can also type out this text in the Try It section. And when you feel comfortable, you can click the Run button 
and it will show you what your text and what your code looks like.